Hello everybody and welcome to the United Stand. I'm Mark Goldbridge and we've got three things that Eric Ten Hag must avoid as Manchester United manager this transfer window. First thing, he must not buy too many players from the Dutch league. I think this would be a huge mistake. We've been linked to the Feyenoord left back. We've been linked to Timber, Anthony and a few others. And I think this would be a huge mistake. It's almost a security blanket that he mustn't do. And I don't think he will do it, but why he shouldn't do it is that, look, look at Memphis Depay. Look at look at Donny van der Beek. They've come to Manchester United. They've come to the Premier League. And very clearly, there's an adjustment period. You could even say that these players have not adjusted at all, but it does take time. And if you bring three players in from the Dutch League, that's a, a large proportion of your transfer budget. And it's a large, large proportion of your squad. Are they all going to hit the ground running straight away? No, they're not. And I don't think Ten Hag will do this. But I think our fan base is falling into this trap. Oh, he'd be good from Feyenoord. Oh, let's get a couple of players in from Ajax. No, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think Ten Hag will do it. And I think he must avoid it. Because, look, many people feel it's a risk. Can Ten Hag ad adjust? If you bring in three or four players in from the Eredivisie as well, I think that's a huge, huge risk. So, look, ideally, you bring Timber in. Maybe you bring Anthony in next summer. But I wouldn't be bringing any more than two in, even though some of our fans think it would be a good idea to bring three or four in. So definitely avoid that, in my opinion. The second thing he mustn't do is spend a lot of money on one player that he doesn't know a lot about. And what I mean here is Declan Rice... Harry Kane. These are the sort of players that are going to cost you close to £100 million. They're going to use well over 50% of your transfer budget. That's a huge risk anyway. We need to focus on quantity. Quality, yes, but quantity. We need four or five quality players this season, this summer transfer window. If you spend £100 million on Declan Rice or Harry Kane because the club are going, we can do this deal. He wants to come to the club. It's a really good deal for us. If Eric Ten Hag goes, yeah, yeah, come on, let's do it. What does he know about Declan Rice or Harry Kane? He'll know a little bit more than us, but he's not a Premier League manager. He's not watching the Premier League. He's not watching them week in, week out. He'll know they're good players. He'll have scouts saying they're good players. But there's a huge element of risk there, and Eric Ten Hag cannot afford to take big risks on things he's not sure of. Now, people will be shouting, Mark, what about De Jong? He's £70 million. He's going to use up a large proportion of the transfer budget. But that's what I mean. If you're going to spend big... Make sure you really know a lot about that player. Now, with Eric Ten Hag and Frankie de Jong, they have that past relationship. Eric Ten Hag can say to United, I want you to spend £70 million on Frankie de Jong. United can go, that's a lot of transfer budget. But Eric Ten Hag can go, look, I'm manager. I want this deal. I know him like the back of my hand and I know what it will bring to the team. I'll take on all the risk. And United, therefore, should write the cheque. But if it's the other way round and United are going, look, we can get Declan Rice, we can get Harry Kane. And he goes, well, yeah, they are really good players, but how much budget have I got left after that? Not a lot. United are, are, are forcing the risk onto him. So I think he's got to be very careful about if he's going to spend big, make sure you're right. Now, people might say Darwin Nunez, but look, Darwin Nunez is a very different risk and he's not going to cost 100 million. We're talking about 60 million there, which is probably about right for a striker. And the third thing I think he really needs to avoid is not handing out too many second chances. So this is more to do with outgoings rather than ingoings. But Manchester United squad this season, the worst ever Premier League season we've ever had, under two managers, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the nice guy, protects his team, maybe a little maybe a little bit, maybe a lot, tactically limited. Ralph Ranjik, more forthright, more demanding, very different types of coaches over one season, and the players have consistently failed both. They can't they can't use the excuse of, oh, it was a different manager, I like this one. They failed under two very different managers, these players. If Eric Ten Hag walks into that club and goes, I'm in charge. New manager, new fresh start, major mistake. He has got to take anecdotal evidence from people within Man United and there needs to be a thorough report and reflection on what has gone wrong this season. I don't. I think it would be a huge mistake to go, well, I'm in charge now, let's forget new se last season and everybody have a fresh start. You know what I mean? Because let's not have a fresh start. Let's analyse what went wrong last season. Let's see why there was leaks. Let's see who down tools. Let's see why players weren't trying in the United shirt. And I wouldn't be handing out too many second choices, chances. I wouldn't be walking in and going, I'm Eric Ten Hag. Everyone gets a second chance. That's a big mistake. There's a saying, leopards don't change their spots. I guarantee you that all the problems within that United squad will come back for pre-season training with a smile on their face. They'll sit down with Ten Hag and they'll be very enthusiastic and energetic. But I guarantee you within four or five months, 
will get leaks again when they're not in the team. You've got to remove as much of that toxicity as you can. Now, where you get that information from, whether it's Rangnick, whether it's from Murta, whether it's from Fletcher, whoever it's from, he's got to understand that he can't walk into that club and go, everyone gets a fresh start because it will bite him on the backside in a few months' time. Some of these players, even down tools for Mourinho, they've been here that long. He's got to be very much eyes wide open. Some managers will walk into a new club and go, look, I'm here in charge. I'm going to give everyone a fair chance. I think that would be a huge mistake at United. Some players, I think, should get a second chance. You know, I know it's controversial. I would give Rashford and Maguire another go. But I think a lot of them, he needs to clear house. I, I would be very concerned if he walked in and went, look, I'm going to give everyone another chance. Because these players, they've had more chances than a cat's got lives, haven't they? He's got to be very careful about that. Anyway, they're my three big things. Don't buy too many players from the Dutch League. Don't spend a lot of money on one player unless you really, really know that player. And don't be going out, coming in fresh, going, giving everyone a second chance. You know, and what are we going to do? Bring Pereira back and give him, give, him, give him a go. The writing's on the wall. He's got a lot to do in a very short period of time. He's going to need to almost work a miracle anyway. Don't waste time making mistakes. And he look, I think we've got to think of it like that as well. We're all behind Eric Ten Hag. But it just shows them the amount of work he's got to do and how many pitfalls there are that he needs to avoid that previous managers have stepped into. Smash a like on the video. Make sure you get your comments in below and subscribe. And also, if you want to get one of these, I'm sure you're loving it. We do ship worldwide. Links in the description. Uh, they're available for you now. Thanks everyone for watching. Let us know your thoughts.